Get over here! Nine chapters, we finally made it. Yeah, we're in... We're in Gallia. Wait, are we in Gallia? Yes, we are in Gallia. Yes. We've actually been in Gallia. Grail dies in Gallia. Yeah, but now we're making it to the capital, I believe. Yes. All right, then. Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses, our ability to fight, the current status of our troops. These are all things that you must know. I see. Having a grasp of that is part of the commander's job, too, right? Understood. Let me hear it. Very well. So this is nice. Yeah. Um, it also makes my job easier in not having to determine who the MVP is uh, for the episodes. Yeah, the game will tell it's like, you. The game's just going to tell me straight up. Up till now, or in the Blazing Sword Let's Play, I've had to we like, kind of just felt it out. Yeah, pretty much. But now like it actually tells us. And it's also going to tell us who's fallen, who our new allies are. This is actually really cool. And we get the combat, the bonus experience thing. Which we didn't get any last chapter, apparently. Uh, no, we were too slow. We were way too slow. Um, or wait, no, too that, slow. That was it, a was a, it, was, chapter, it was a survival so it chapter. Yeah, I, maybe not even a award bonus um, experience. Who knows? I would have to look it up. Anyway, that's it. I think I got most of it. I'll give you a report before each battle. I hope that it. I hope that it helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Commander. I will do my best. But if I have your leave, I must be going. Uh, Soren, you're not going to apologize for what happened with Leaf? Uh, well, he did apologize in the last scene. I mean, he, he apologized, like, like for... Very, very half-heartedly. Yeah, he apologized for attacking. He didn't apologize for his words. He didn't apologize for being a racist. Yeah. All right, but, so... But who would in this world? Everybody's... Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, as we mentioned in the last chapter, what, from here on out, we're, uh, Comic Foil and I are basically just going to go through the outfitting and the managing and just, like, you do, don't our, need to do see everything. Us do that. You don't need to see us do any of this, but just like in the Blazing Sword Let's Play, I'm going to transition to the support conversations and the information that we get, and then after that, we'll transition to the beginning of the chapter. Yep. All right, so see you guys in a bit. So that's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit... Ike, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I would have never guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could you run the report by me again? You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cot somewhere. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your, eye, your left eye twitches. That's... odd. I never noticed. Get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not nearly as insensitive as the others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Hmm. Don't let the bed bugs bite. How are you feeling, Reese? Good. No fevers or shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It was almost a year ago to this very day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My time... my time does fly. Of course. I don't remember much of the initial counter, encounter since I was unconscious and bleeding. <laughs> remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a healer with us that day. Fighting bandits without a staff? <laughs> Not smart. It was lucky that I found you. I didn't usually venture that deep into the forest, but I was short on medical herbs. Yeah, those bandits were a rough lot. Their stomping, gra their stomping ground was right near your village, actually. It's all coming back to me now. They were tougher than I thought. We took most of them out with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up on the undergrowth and the bandit just got the drop on me. At least Sheenon hit him before I was killed. Gantry and Sheenan were both really worried when they brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't think Sheenan worried about anyone. But they stayed with me until my wounds were healed, I remember that. You know, if it wasn't for your good work, I wouldn't have been able to use an axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, I should thank you. You convinced Grail to hire me. And now I can send money back to my parents. 
They're both so old, and I'm their only source of income. Your parents were... your parents were very kind, especially your mother. And she made that great wild berry pie. To repay their kindness, I will protect their only son no matter what. Oh, I appreciate that, Titania. Hmm... What's wrong, Soren? Are preparations complete? Yes, everything's ready. You have only a few robes and, a mu and musty books. I'm taking a bit less, but it looks like as it looks as though you travel light as well. The burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. Me too. We're liking that, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, um, it's nothing. Never mind. Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Shall I go and see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Huh? Sitting here in the morning in the sunlight, it helps me to understand. I'm alive, I have trustworthy friends. That's how I know I can go on. I just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. Y you're not. Well then, it's business as usual. I know we'll have troubles, but let us set our shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. Uh, Ike, good morning. <clears throat> morning. Are you alright? If I said I were, I'd be lying. But I'm doing my best. Yesterday, I was so confused. Then I woke this morning and saw the blue sky, felt the sun on my face, and I thought, I'm alive. The sunlight was so warm. I mean, it's always warm, but for some reason, it made me want to cry. Oh, Mist. It's up to us. We must live the fullest lives, we, the fullest lives we can. We have to live for mother and for father. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So, um, I may think about them, and I may cry every now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We'll carry on. We'll carry on together. Oh, sorry. I have to hurry and get ready. I'll see you later, brother. Yes, look at the time. Get a move on, will you? Hey, good morning, Ike. How are you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? Hi, Oscar. Yeah, I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, I all it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're truly lucky to be alive. If those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did, we might have been all wiped out. Yeah. I... I can't say I know what you're going through or how you feel. But you should try to remember all that happened last night. The men we fought were professionals. Well trained and under the command of a cunning tactician. But not invincible. You're saying they follow certain rules, specific patterns. Yes, I see. If I can learn what they are, and they become vul- If I can learn what they are, they become vulnerable. The next time we meet, we won't lose. <laughs> what? For an instant there, looking at you was like looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son. I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? It wasn't that. It- And it wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it. It was more like the core of your character. It felt the same as his. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. That must have sounded pretty stupid. Oscar? Commander? From now on, when I practice, would you join me? I would be, for, I would be more familiar with the fighting styles of knights. Of course. If there's anything I can do to help, you need only ask. Oh, boss! Morning! Good morning. Are you ready to go? All set. It doesn't matter how late I go to sleep, I'm always awake before the sun rises. I can leave whenever. Um, I'm sorry. You know, for everything that's happened, it's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing. But it's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same to you. I can't have, it can't have been easy joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by choice. I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. Um... Uh... <sighs> uh... 
What? Ooh, times. Times like this. I never have any idea of what I'm supposed to say. None. Ugh, darn, hold on. Yesterday, in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up, boss. And I knew. That is how a true man lives. So now I know, so now I have to follow you, you see? I think so. That's my story, boss. So do me a favor and don't tell me you get lost. I'm good to have around. You'll see. If that's how you feel, I guess I understand. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Never. I wouldn't know how. Ike, are you prepared? Can we depart soon? It's taking more time than I thought. Sorry for making you wait. I see. Then I will talk with you as we wait. <sighs> My words, are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem. I understand you. That is good. Mordecai is not so good with this language. What language do you normally use? With others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and with... How do you say... Growls. That sounds convenient. Yes. But our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we learn these modern words. I would think that would be enough, being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid a fighting that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. Hmm. Using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. This place brings back such memories. It hasn't changed in the slightest. Titania, have you been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still a knight of Crimea. I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying in Gallia's royal palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. <sighs> I miss the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as though the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm. Now that I think about it, my father knew where that old castle was. He sure acted like someone who'd been to Gallia before. Was here? Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? Oh, that was uh, Mordecai. Ike! It's Mordecai. You'd better answer him. Yeah, but... We can finish our talk later, after we've reached the castle. Well... That was cryptic. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're alright. Good. They are such weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos worth his claws could cross it in a single bound. Leith. Hm. It is the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. I love Mordecai. I'm Mordecai, just gonna say that much yeah. right now. He like he's not a great unit, but gosh darn it, he's like. I think he's, he's pretty good in this game. In this game, neither of these two are good in Radiant Dawn. That's true. That is true. Okay, in this game, they are like Leith is decent. Mordecai is actually pretty darn good. In Radiant Dawn, they're garbage. No, most Lagoos are garbage in Radiant Dawn, unless it's like one of the Royals. Yeah. But anyway, <sighs> you are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. What's wrong is wrong. You are a fierce warrior, Leith. But when it comes to the Bjork, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on now, both of you. Let's calm down. I'm surprised Mordecai is saying this in Bjork tongue. Mordecai. Wait. What is it? That smell on the wind. It's iron. It is the smell of weapons, the smell of Bayork, heavily armored, well armed. I love that that's the way they sense that danger is nearby. They smell it, iron. It's, it's kind of like how Ninian and Nils were able to sense danger, but this actually has like a more down to earth Th This reason. is more scientific. This yeah. is really cool. Are you sure? I mean, that would be the thing that's really out of place in Gallia, would mm -hmm. be iron. 
General Kotov, the Crimean mercenaries have entered the area of operations. <laughs> They're trapped. Call every last man. Ready for battle. We stop the enemy here. So what, what um, Dan's been doing basically this whole time is they went into Gallia um, illegally. They illegally crossed the border with armies to try and get Alencia and these mercenaries that know about Alencia and have basically been occupying uh, abandoned forts yep. for all of their army Yeah, business. because Gallia, I believe, if I recall correctly, used to be the site of a big war. Yeah, there's much less beast lagoons than there used to be. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into that later. That is some heavy details going into the plot, but anyway. Black armor. The Dayan men, all right. You're saying that some of the invasion force is still around? Dayan worms. They strut about the Gallian forests as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Urgh, the castle to the south. Many Bjork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Huh, understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. All right, let's go. I want you two to take Miss and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you. Be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Grail mercenaries, move out. I like how they remember that the merchants are traveling with them. Okay, so, um, we already did our outfitting, and, and we, everybody's coming along. And we do not have to pick anyone, I think. We have everyone here. Yeah. Um, Alright, gonna do a little bit of repositioning. I'm gonna move the uh, Cavaliers to the back. Well, if you'd like to look at the map really quick, um, uh, I can yes. tell you what the general game plan is here. Uh, yes, because I... Uh, no, not... No. Menu. Menu. There we go. Okay. Map. Here we go. And I'm going to zoom out. There we go. What so do we got? So there are two main paths. We can go south, which takes us straight to the castle. But we don't want to do that, at least not with everybody. We want these houses up here. Right. You will see that there is a pirate on the shores over there. Oh. He's going to go for the houses. We need to... And he has a venom axe. Yeah. Interesting. We need to get to him before he gets to the houses. But... Shortly after, a bunch more pirates are going to show up from the north. Basically, the optional boss of this chapter is oh. going to be a big pirate and five of his men. Um, so, we should take definitely Ike, definitely Titania, so that she can catch up and take care of that pirate fast enough. I also nominate Mia for this. Um, because her her sword abilities and her uh, speed are going to be able to... Are going to be able to make do against a bunch of axe wielders. Yeah, I mean, we should really take as. It, it's not unreasonable to move everybody up there. Okay, and then we can, like, take this at our leisure? Yes. Honestly, I think that's a good plan. Um, if nothing else, if these guys decide to, uh, decide to try and come after us, like, um, in, like, on the southern part of the beach, um, we have the likes of Void and the Beast to, and the Beast units, uh, to block the path if need be. Speaking of which, we got Mordecai and Leaf here. They are old. They are, like, Ally units are literally acting on their own, which yeah. means we do have to keep an eye on them. Um, rather than ally units, actually, which are green, these are partner units, so mm. we can command them, That's but not true. directly control them. So here's the thing. They will not gain experience points while they're partner units. We will get them next chapter if they live, uh -huh. um, which they probably will. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty darn they're strong. They're pretty equipped for this chapter. Right. Um, the tough thing is you don't really want to leave them to kill a whole bunch of things because they're going to sap up that experience that could go to other people. But so, we might want to bring them to the north anyway to help us if things get crazy if things with get, the pirates. If things get sour. So I assume like we use Ike and use the command uh, protect uh, order. Um, there's not a... Well, generally, yeah. That, yeah. That's the basic Basically, idea. gather around Ike. Yeah. And then we will order them to attack if need be. Yeah, because if you set them to roam, they will rush straight to the castle and tear it a new one. All right, then. Um, in that case, yeah. We're gonna have, uh... Then in that case, let... Okay, let me, uh, go to the menu here. Uh, not choose units. Reposition. And in that case, I'm gonna move Oscar down here. Um, okay. Titania down here, actually, because, like, I think she has a little more movement than Oscar, and we're gonna basically have them... 
um, corral with the rest of the units here. Now, this yeah. is a cliff, so this is, like... Impassable. Impassable. Essentially impassable. So, yeah, I think our best bet is to come here to the eastern part of the beach and then start making our way. Yep. And thanks to these guys, um, if we can avoid this mage uh, with the uh, thunder, we can use Mia and uh, Ike to take some of these guys using the axes. Yeah. Honestly, um, I would consider moving Titania more to the north so that she can get started right away because that pirate's going to make a beeline for the houses. Understood. He, he's kind of hard to catch. All right, then. In that case... Uh, like, I would even put her up where Soren is. All right, then. Uh, so one way or another, Titania needs to get to that to that uh, yeah. pirate. Yep. All right, then. Um, then and then I believe we have our game plan. Okay, there's a few other, um, quirks to this chapter, but I'll explain them as they become relevant. Understood. Alright, then let's, uh, move guys over here, move over here. Um, I think, uh, I think we have our game plan. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it to it. Here's quirk number one. Ike! Mist, you and Rolf clear out of here. Stay back no matter what. No, Ike. We're going to fight with you, both of us. What? No, that's not going to happen. Be serious, Mist. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this. A heal staff? Yeah. I made Reese teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries. I mean, just little ones, but still. Little ones? No, there's no way I'm letting you on this battlefield. Huh? Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. I'm going to fight too. I'm good with a bow! Really? That's news to me. Is that the best lie you could come up with? It's not a lie! That's right, he's not lying! Of course he is! What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's been practicing with his bow, and he's really good! Aren't you? I sure am! And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see, um, I guess I just sort of picked it up naturally? Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. You can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy, because I learned it all myself. The truth of this is amazing, and <laughs> yeah. I love it. You little... You don't know anything, boy. That's right. This is ridiculous. Enough! You two go back! No, we don't want to! All Rolf and I do is sit and wait and worry about all of you. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight by your side. Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel too? Uh-huh. No doubt. We'd rather be with you. Ugh. What now, Commander? We take them with us. We're too pressed for time to sit around here bickering. And at least if they're nearby, they'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes! You won't regret this, Ike, I promise! I hope not. Alright, yeah, so we got two more units right off the bat here. We got Mist, who is a level one player. They cleric. suck, but don't make the mistake I did the first time I played this. Level up Mist. Uh huh. Level up uh -huh. Mist. Uh huh. We also got Rolf, who actually, despite being a very, very weak unit early, this kid has some of the best growth rates in the game. Yeah, he's very he's very hard to invest in, but he's he hard does to invest get him, good. But once you get him up there, he is insanely good. Yeah. See, he's easier to train in Radiant Dawn, but in this, like, if you really lean into leveling him up. Question. Yes. Is this the reason? Is this girl right here the reason you told me to save all that bonus experience from before? <laughs> She's one of the reasons. Alright then! <laughs> We got a job to do here. She is the most important reason that I said to save bonus XP. All right, then. Because next chapter, I want to level her the hell up. All right, then. We're going to do just that. First of all. Oh, yeah. Gameplay. Yeah. Um, let's uh, go ahead and move Ike up here. Okay. Ah, direct. Here we go. Yeah. So what I like is target. We got... Okay, so roam is they'll just do whatever they want. Halt is they'll do literally nothing. Avoid is they'll go away from all enemies. Target is they will go to whatever place you mark on the map. They won't necessarily fight anything. They'll just go there and wait for more instructions. So my recommendation is to target around where Ike is. Let's move him up here. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so the purpose of that is kind of to start getting used to the unique way that Lagoo's units work. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll notice when you see their health bar, um, I'll explain this, I guess, while you're thinking about how to move yeah, these yeah, guys. Yeah. Um, you'll see that there is a beast meter. So yes. the way Lagoo's work, it's a little bit clunky, but their beast meter goes up every turn or every time they're in battle. When they're in their uh, humanoid forms, they cannot counterattack. They cannot attack at all. They can still be pretty tanky, or in Leith's case, pretty dodgy. Yeah. Um, uh, Leith is a dodge tank. Yeah, but in Path of Radiance, they cannot counterattack while they're in their humanoid form. However, when that meter hits 20, they'll turn into their beast forms. And, and they become, they like, insane. They, yeah. they, they, like, they can attack, and I believe their movement speed increases, too. I think so, yeah. Another thing to watch out for, um, so all Lagoos have some type of elemental weakness. Beast Lagoos, like Leaf and Mordecai, are weak to fire. fire. Yes. There is a mage up north. There's a couple mages up north on the beach. They both have thunder spells, so we're safe from that. The one thing we got to watch out for is over by the keep, there is a fire mage. Gotcha. Um, the birds are weak to wind, and dragon are Lagoos weak are weak to, to thunder. Yeah. All right. And the partner phase goes before the enemy phase. How about that? Yep. Yeah, so Leaf, the um, difference between cats and tigers, because they are considered two different classes. Yeah. Um, so Leaf is more dodgy and quick, and Mordecai's more of a slow powerhouse, though both of them will, like, one attack kill pretty much anything on this map, and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and dodge pretty much any attack. I really like that uh, Mia dodged that. I appreciated it. Oh, yeah. No, Mia, like, has a pretty good dodge uh, uh, dodge stat when it comes to uh, when it comes to this. All right. That guy's moving. By the way. What is it? If there is some special task you would ask of us, we are willing to listen. What are you talking about? <sighs> Open your ears. If you wish it, we shall follow your orders. <sighs> But you must direct us. Really? You're willing to take orders from me? This is a Bayork fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason for being here. So spoke our king. But last night, you... That! That was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. You thought correctly. We were in danger. I thank you. We were greatly aided by your arrival. You are welcome. Hmm. Very well. Let us fight together. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find this acceptable? Of course. Well then, good fortune to us all. Alright, so... Um, how do we want to go about this? Um, um, I say use the units in back. Mm -hmm. Move them up to try and, like, like start range attacking, soften up these two axemen here, and try and get Titania up there to hit the pirate. So, Rolf has a special bow called Rolf's Bow. Uh, a special bow designed to help Rolf master archery. Only Rolf can wield it. Where did you get that, Rolf? Uh, where did you get that bow? Uh, I know where know, you got that we know. bow. We know. <laughs> Alright, then. Let's start doing some work here. Um... Actually, you can probably... I know I am going to move her forward. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's half of it. Hmm. Uh, if you do I that, have... Rolf could get the kill. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Alright, so Elf Thunder? Yeah. Let's do it. And if she gets critical, or if she gets a critical, great. Yeah, because then Eliana gets the experience. At this point, we're not positive what characters we will and won't use. I have... Yeah, at this point, I'm willing to I try... I have certain biases, but... I'm willing to try for everyone, honestly. All right, Rolf. Look at that! Also, Rolf's bow has a really good crit chance. All right. All right, let's see you, Rolfy boy. Do not fool Rolf! <laughs> I was just thinking that. How, how can I make an edit in any reference? <laughs> Arrow in your head, huh? <laughs> huh, Axe boy? I am a noodle head and you're not. God damn it, why am I doing this? How can you do with the iron blade? Okay, not much. 
Uh, do you want to hit with Soren first? I was thinking that, yeah. Let's go with Soren first. Yes. Perfect. Yes, that one. And if he goes adept, well... Well, he still won't kill. No, he will. Oh, wait, yes, he will. I, I math bad. Alright. Yeah, let's give it to Mia. Yeah, they're in a uh, Mia death range. Yeah, honestly, like... Oh, that's good. Um, honestly, given that we're going to be dealing with a lot of pirates here, I actually may try and uh, give Mia a lot of love here. This would be the place to do it. Mm hmm Oh, you know what? Okay, so this guy's going to, uh, going to attack. and But this guy is in range, but I have an idea. Okay. Um... Yes. Okay, first of all, I'm actually going to... I'm going to move Ike forward. Because what I'm going to do is Reese with the Ward Staff. Oh, cool. Okay. Also, it's some nice uh, extra experience to Reese. Exactly. And then we and then we put Mia in range here. That Axeman will attack her and so will the Mage. But with that Ward Staff, she should be able to deal with it. Okay. And if she gets hit, we can have Mist heal, heal her a little exactly. bit. Exactly. And then we can move Mist out of the way. Mm-hmm. Aw. Oh, it's fine. I mean, I hope Mia can take two attacks. That's a good question. Or, that's a good point. It'll heal her to full. Yeah. So I think we're good. Okay, and, um... Oh, wait, Mage can't even reach Mist there. Nope, the, ra the Mage cannot reach Mist. Okay, um... Move Titania up to be able to rush in next turn. So, all the way up? I mean, I would be fine if you moved her all the way into the battlefield, personally, and she took attacks. I'd be fine with that, but... Actually, yeah, yeah send her in, because they're probably going to run around her to attack. Yeah, that's Mia. true. They're not going to want to attack the Paladin. I know the one guy has a poleaxe, but Titania will be fine. Alright then, so... Tatia uh, tat uh, Titania here with the Iron Axe? Uh, yes. Or do we want to ha have her wield the Hand Axe, just in case? Um, I guess it would be useful if the mage attacks her to, like... No, 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 because, um, I'd rather kill the mage with somebody else. You're right. Actually, that makes it so that Mia's out of range. Oh, balls. Okay. Well, that's because, like, that there's that cliff here. Yeah. But hey, you know what? If they're going to pile around Titania, then that's fine. Yeah, because the, that the case, pirate's probably going to keep walking. Ooh, I have an idea. Um, in that case, um, Boyd, move over here. Equip the hand axe. Can he Pure take, water. Can he take... Oh, oh, okay, okay. That'll increase his resistance so that he'll be able to take the thunder. Yeah, alright. And move Oscar up. Yeah. Because he can help. Oscar... I'm not feeling good about Oscar. Yeah, he's been run. having some low growths lately, unfortunately. Yeah. Oscar's just that kind of, like, well-rounded unit that can just completely not work if you get messed up. Oh, they're attacking Titania. They are attacking Titania. Oh, that is a poleaxe. Nice dodge. Nice crit. Yeah, that actually managed to kill. I mean, I'd rather you didn't, but... I'd rather she didn't, too, but hey, if she's gonna crit, then there's not really much we can do about it. I'm not gonna tell the lady not to defend herself. Yeah, seriously, though. Alright, those guys are moving up. Yeah, I don't love these people closing in from the back, but... We should be fine. Ooh! Titania with the dodges! Okay, yeah. I believe Titania will be able to reach that uh, pirate. S soaking Boyd. Um, check who's over there, but I think it would be nice for Boyd to be able to attack. Um, Boyd is in range of that iron sword. And, and the thunder. The, and the thunder. And the axeman there. Mm-hmm. But... Unless he uses a hand axe. Unless we use Kanto. Or rescue. Yeah, okay. Okay, first of all, I want to get this mage out of the way. Mia, see what you can do. Uh, her power is so low. Alright then, let's soften him up a bit. Um, who can soften? Oh, Oscar! 
Sure. Yeah, like my 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 plan is to give Mia some much needed experience here, and I'm going to I'm going to stick with it. Cause I want to see if those growths that she gets manage to actually like give her some fighting chance of of like you know being at least someone we can use later down the line. Uh, there you go with the sling yeah. sword. If she takes two damage, you know. Well, again, uh, that uh, that uh, ward staff. Yeah. Damn. I do love unnecessary crits. I mean, I would yeah, it would have been nice if she did that earlier. Yeah. But eh, what are you gonna do? I prefer necessary crits. Strength and speed, good. All right. Good, good, good. And that actually will uh, factor into the weapon's weight and her speed in, in general, so that she can start doubling a little more often. All right. Um, can Boyd actually take this guy out with it? Ugh, not quite. But what we can do is... Oh! Shall we? Huh? Yeah, let's give it a try. That, that's honestly our best bet at this point. Yeah. Good. Come on, one more. Oh! Oh my god, Titania! Okay. Pirate's dead. I'm happy. Wow! She's kind of... I'm noticing that she's been performing like crazy lately. Is she determined for us to get get her into the late game? Because if she is, I'm fine with that. Okay, can we take a look at those guys who are coming up from behind now? Uh, yeah, give me a moment here. Um, we got a steel sword, steel lance, steel lance, and a thunder. So I do have one small concern with that. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Do we want Ike and, uh, Boyd? Maybe, um... Send Boyd. Send Boyd back. Yes. Okay. I think we should send Ike and Boyd, because that's a mercenary with a steel sword. Yeah, but pirates are gonna show up soon. Fair. And I want Ike up where the pirates are gonna show up. So maybe Boyd and, like... Boyd and Rolf? Because here's the thing. If this guy attacks, uh, Boyd... He, this guy can only attack, like, if we put Boyd here... He will only he will be able to attack Boyd. Everyone else will have to catch up. Yeah. So have set set Boyd up to take an attack. Mm -hmm. Well, equip him with the iron sword. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, first of all, let me do this. Equip and Rolf, stay by my side. You got it. Hold a minute. That was too easy. What's going on? Nothing. But I'm close to you. But if I'm close to you, I can protect you. So you have no need to worry. What? Hey! That's my line! <laughs> Does that mean that Oscar has a line with him? Uh, probably, yeah. Alright. Alright, um, we need we need more than Rolf and Boyd there. Um, Ileana? Ileana, maybe, uh, Soren? I think Ileana and Soren. And, right, then, then. and then they can catch up to everybody once the pirates are showing up. I... I think this will work. All right, understood. I'm going to put him over here then. So, first of all, who needs healing? No one, really. Uh, yeah, no one. Wow, everyone's full. Uh, Everybody's annoyingly full. All right, so... Okay. Um, Mist can, hmm. Yeah, keep, send one of the healers up with Ike and keep the other one here with the, uh, Yeah, we'll have the mage, thing. we'll have the mages, the kids, and Boyd uh, okay. here. But there's a reason, which will become apparent real soon, why I don't want to just leave these guys to catch up. Oh, uh, I got, I think I got what you're getting at. All right, they're moving. Huh. He hasn't transformed yet. No, Mordecai's got a Reggie Gigas syndrome. Gotcha. Vantage. Not bad, Mia. All right, they're moving. All right, Boyd, make us proud. Boyd, if you want to kill this guy, if you want to crit, that would be great. That's some good damage. Yeah. 
considering the weapon triangle, that was that was nice. Yeah. Oh, hello. So here's quirk number two. Me? Is that Marcia? That's Marcia. Yeah, it is. Let's see now. Where are they? Aha! Found them. Okay, um... So, Marcia is going to... I don't know if she's going to prioritize attacking enemies. I think she's going to prioritize flying to Ike. All right, then. So we want Ike in her range. Um, yeah, maybe I should have kept... Maybe we should have kept Ike back here. Mm. Um, because now I'm worried about these guys getting overwhelmed. All right, well... I think I know what we can do here. Okay. Um, if we're really having a problem, we can tell Ike to send the cats down here to I clean up. I was thinking up. just that, yeah. Uh, also, how far can Oscar reach? Up to here. Let's focus on this first. Let's yeah. focus on this first. Yeah, I gave bad advice. Sorry. Um, oh, I have an idea. Okay. Um... So, you are going to be able to take a, uh, you're going to be able to take a, uh, a spell easy. So, if we move him over here, he'll be in the way of that guy, of the Lance Man in front of him, as well as the mage right in front. Okay, you know he has damage on him already, right? Thank you for letting me know that. Yep. Um, so maybe... Maybe if you want to, um... Attack with Rolf. Rolf's in an unfortunate position right now. Mm -hmm. um, Ileana can take this guy out. Who has a higher defense, Ileana or Soren? Good question. Ileana has three. three, and Soren has five. Keep this in mind. That is true. Shade can be a little bit... Um, not dependable, but, yeah, I think, I think that gives us decent chance. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay, how about this? How about we just move Rolf out of the way, because he's not going to get an attack in. Probably not. So, I think just move him towards the other group. Alright, so move him over here? Yeah. Alright, then. Um, then Mist heals Boyd. Yeah. Then we move Boyd. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope he doesn't miss. I have a small backup plan if he does miss, but okay. Okay, good. Okay, and then have Ilyana or Sorin kill... Let's check the ranges on those other two. Uh, okay. Um, then I think... Have Ilyana. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I'd say move Ilyana one space down mm -hmm. and attack the swordsman from diagonally, and then move Sorin two spaces down to guard Ilyana. Mm. If you also want to see, we can move Ilyana to attack that soldier just to get an idea of how much the soldier will do to her. Well, oh, we, she no, can't, we can't reach. reach. Okay. Um, yeah, we put ourselves in a bad position here. Shoot. Wait a minute! Frick. One way or another, this this uh, guy needs to die. Yeah, so I think that's going to be Ileana.
And Soren, we can even move to take the first attack on the soldier. Because maybe he'll, like, adapt or something. Oh, no, he can't reach. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think... I'm just going to check something. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly? Okay, here's the big... Here's the thing. We're in a bit of a pickle here. I'd rather... I'd rather take a chance with Ileana. Okay. And that shade to cause that soldier to attack Boyd. Because... One way or the other, if Ileana, if, you, if you, Ileana's shade doesn't work, I'd rather lose her than take a chance with Soren. Mm, same. Okay, so how about we move Ileana next to Boyd and then attack backwards at oh, the Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Are these? No, that soldier can reach uh, past there, can he? All right, then. Because I don't want this mage getting an attack on her. I'd say we move her here. And take out this, uh... And take out this guy. Ah, that's a 10% chance. Okay, as long as this mage can't reach her, then right over here. Yeah. I think that's our best bet. I mean, her resistance is pretty darn good. You, her resistance? Yeah, the mage attacks Ileana. Oh, the mage isn't gonna attack Ileana from there. Only okay. the soldier can reach her. And reach Ileana? Yes. So, what were you talking about? You didn't want the mage to... I just don't want the mage to attack anyone other than Boyd. Okay. I mean, I don't think the mage would do much to Ileana, is what yes, I'm saying. Yes, but I'm not taking chances. That's a steel lance coming at Ileana's face if that shade doesn't proc. Yeah, okay. 